Welcome to another one of Agent West's Trailing Adventures. This one comes from a new update, where the developers have challenged us to deliver a container from the ship to the dock. And unlike what a logical person would do and build maybe a hovercraft or a boat, I'm going to try to fly it over there because why not? But before I do that, there's really not much room down here to take off in, in an airplane big enough, so I'll have to bring the container up on the top deck. So let me work on something to get it moving. Get up a little closer. Now the weird thing about these containers is they look really heavy, but well, they're bulky more than anything. Anyway... How wide are you? You are about this wide, got it. And how long are you? About this long. Cool. Okay. Better. The idea for this machine is fairly simple. I plan on grabbing the entire the container, squeezing it from probably both sides, and then lifting up the entire machine instead of having a separate grabber. Because all I'm doing is just moving it from moving the container from place to place. I'm not trying to load it up onto anything just yet. Easy trick for four wheel steering is copy your steering hinges and flip the back ones. That'll make them turn like they should and make this entire carrier turn a lot quicker and a lot better than it would have otherwise. Let's see if it'll even fit over the container. Right, no motors. This should make it plenty wide. Gotta love game physics. But at least the container is up on the on the machine right now. And it's good to move it around. I can probably use that very base to make the airplane on. Or rather, make an airplane out of it.
Hopefully we're not going in the water, but I just kind of like the looks of this diving bell. I suspect the center of gravity would be right about here, so that'll be, that'll be a good place to put the wings on it. If the center of gravity is too far forward, then it's a bad thing. If a center of gravity is too far back from the wings, that's an even a worse thing. Because what'll happen is, you will take off just fine and maybe fly around for a bit, until something happens and your airplane goes nose up, loses speed, and falls down to the ground uncontrollably, because as it, as it falls down, instead of flying nose first, it'll try to fly tail first. Which is never a good thing. Anyway. Now one trick I did see to making control surfaces on, air on airplanes and trail makers is by using steering hinges to move them. But now I'm realizing that I will have to build quite a structure to support them. Since they don't have attachment points to the side of them. I can probably make something out of that. Go into aerodynamics, grab a couple of decent looking cheese wedges. Sure, well, maybe. Hey, like a thing goes, if it looks silly but it works, it's not silly. Let me make this back section unnecessarily complicated. Because why not? The proverbial cherry on top. Give it some wings. Then multiply it. This is never gonna fly. Red tilted forward means it will put the airplane nose up. Yep, same thing here. So to go nose up with W and then S. And these be empty, which they are. No need to be near that steep. So for these, motors are fairly heavy, so 
Let's spam a bunch of them down the side. Because that's how that's how airplanes work, right? Don't necessarily like the front end, so let me change it about a change it around a little bit. To be perfectly honest, that does not look much better, but at least it's something different. Anyway, let's take it out for test flight. That's about as good as I expected. But as you have seen, it dipped, dipped down backwards even before I let off the thrusters, which means that the wings are a little bit too far forward. Oops. That's why you always do pre-flight checks. So up, down, for the airplane not to tail. Then right and left, looks good, let's go. Keep in mind, there's going to be a giant crate that I'll have to carry. I might as well have too much power than not enough. The power is not a, not the issue. The issue is that the tail doesn't work hardly hardly any. Restart. Now I'm realizing that all these jets are pushing the nose of the airplane down as it flies. So to compensate, I need to move the wings forward ever so slightly. And that should be enough. That was a weird audio glitch, but anyway. See? And there it goes again. Why in the hell? The problem is, I'm gonna back this thing over a container. And the easiest solution would be a tiny motor. It doesn't have to do much, it just has to... has to move this airplane thing 
on the ground. Airplane plan thing. Live like if you get the reference. tall enough. The tail isn't. You know what? Sure, at least the height wouldn't be a problem anymore. but not too tight, otherwise physics would freak out and possibly well not possibly, probably make this whole thing not fly, but anyway it looks like it is clamped, it's off the ground let's see if she flies It's extremely unstable and really wants to go nose deep into the water, but hey, flying is flying. Kind of worked, but hey, they never said it has to make it with the machine in one piece, so it's a win in my book. So as you can see, I have changed the design a little bit and went back to this shopping cart looking thing. It still flies decent, holds onto the crate a little better. I think it's just nicer looking overall. Oh, and also it's, use, it's using four engines per Agent West reporting. Mission successful. Your next mission, should you choose to accept it, is to join me on my next adventure. Agent West, signing off.